senior planner within product planning, and I'm going to go over some marketing overview and then a brief touch on the rogue sport. But just to hit from the high level to start, uh, 2016 was a great year for Nissan. So we were the fastest growing auto brand in the US with over 1.4 million sales and a growth of 5.5%. Um, and this really came on the back of you know, really strong performance from our crossovers, trucks, and our SUVs with all-time record for uh, you know those divisions as well, up 16%. And so the vehicles that you can see on the screen there, the Titan, Murano, Frontier, Rogue, Armada, and NV200 were all up significantly year on year, and that's really driving that growth. Um, it, for 2017, you know the, the growth has continued. So we've had record sales in March, as well as Rogue having a all-time record uh, month with a 43% increase year on year and that's a March record so you know as well as Pathfinder as well as and our crossovers trucks and SUV both setting you know uh, March records uh, of all time. Um, specifically on Rogue by the numbers so since Rogue has been introduced in the US we've sold nearly 1.6 million vehicles since that launch in 2007. Uh, Rogue is now and has been Nissan's number one selling model uh, since last year overtaking Altima, which was long the, the number one vehicle for the brand. So Rogue is now firmly the number one vehicle for, for Nissan. And um, you know, with that, last year we had an all-time sales record of almost 330,000 units. So, and that was a 15% growth from the, from the previous year. Um, again, in 2017, that growth continues. And Rogue is currently not only the top selling vehicle within Nissan's portfolio, but it's the number one selling vehicle that's not a big three truck. We've sold over 100,000 units in the first three months of calendar year 17, um, with a, which represents a 47% year-on-year increase. So, and this is on the back of, obviously, the, the refreshed uh, Rogue uh, late 2016, you know, that's um, you know, selling it outstandingly um, to date. So, um, you know, the final point that we want to touch on is Nissan and Millennials. So, and this is very important in the context of Rogue Sport. In 2016, uh, Nissan was the top selling brand amongst millennials with over 500,000 vehicles sold to, to millennial customers, which is a really, really uh, you know, proud achievement for, for the brand. Um, and millennials remain a core target of ours uh, within 2017 to continue uh, to maintain that strength and, and, and further our growth moving forward. Um, and with that, we're adding a new member of the uh, Nissan CUV and SUV lineup and the Rogue family, the Rogue Sport. So as you can see, this is our Rogue history. So the first generation was the 2008 model year Rogue launched in 2007. That was followed up by our second generation Rogue launched in 2013 for the 2014 model year. And then last year refreshed with the 2017 model year. Now, all new for 2017, we have the Rogue Sport added to the lineup. So. Uh, the Rogue Sport uh, is based on the Global Cash Guide, which was launched in 2014 in its current generation overseas. Um, however, the, the Rogue Sport for the US has been uh, optimized for the US customer. So in terms of tuning and, and certain specifications have been set specifically for the US market. Um, looking at the Nissan CUV and SUV lineup, so we have a very clear um, sort of role and strategy for our, for our lineup. You know, the top three vehicles are really our, our key family vehicles. So the Rogue is, you know, that compact CUV that's the, it's the small family CUV, right size for families with one to two kids. Um, then you have your Pathfinder for slightly lighter families and your Amada for the, the really big families. Um, on, the, on the bottom half, you've got our, uh, our key, uh, what we call uh, non-family vehicles. So the Rogue Sport is now our key entry compact CUV, which will appeal basically to singles and couples, younger urbanites who are more city-based, looking for something which is a little bit more emotional, a little bit more stylish. They're not quite at the family life stage yet, so they want a more stylish and a more emotional vehicle that fits their needs. Um, and then you have the mid-sized Marina, um, you know, sitting slightly further up the lineup. Where's the Jeep? Uh, so the Duke's not on this slide. Duke is still obviously within our lineup, but the Rogue Sport is obviously that the main uh, vehicle targeted it's at the, the entry. It's a different security. sort of consumer for the Duke, so we don't really consider it when we think of our mainstream lineup. It's not really a mainstream vehicle you know, in that way. Right. 
So looking at, at the rogue sport, um, I guess uh, from a broader overview, um, you know, what are the key points? So the rogue sport is slightly smaller with a sportier focus than rogue. So um, with a smaller vehicle, smaller wheelbase, you know, we've really focused on um, having uh, fun to drive dynamics because uh, you know, we, we, we have uh, identified the buyers as being slightly more driving oriented. Um, they want a vehicle which more uh, you know, meets their emotional needs rather than functional. Um, but that's not saying that functional needs aren't important. You know, these buyers are looking for spaciousness and this is why that they're leaving the, the traditional vehicles that they've purchased in the past. C sedans, other, other vehicles you know, as such. Um, the compact SUV offers them greater flexibility, greater utility, um, and, and a great alternative to, to a larger sedan. Um, it's designed for conquering everyday urban adventures. So again, you know, this really ties into the target customer. We, you know, we've identified these customers as being more urban than suburban. Um, so being able to navigate their cities more seamlessly is important. So having a vehicle which is slightly smaller and slightly easier to maneuver makes a big difference um, you know, in their everyday life. Um, and of course, you know, targeting the fastest growing segment in the industry. You know, the compact SUVs is the fastest growing um, portion of the market, and it's, it's it's expanding into you know numerous sort of iterations of vehicles in terms of size and, and price. And so, the the Rogue Sport is positioned, you know, really to, to take advantage of a particular growing part of the market, slightly below the Rogue. Um, and and in that sense, that's why we're using that Rogue name. So the Rogue Sport will sit in underneath the Rogue, the Rogue um, and it's, it shares the Rogue name, uh, you know, basically to, to, to carry through the momentum that the Rogue has really built in the last few years. Rogue is one of our strongest nameplates now, and using that as a, as a strong base to launch the Rogue Sport will really help propel this vehicle you know, to, to a running start. Um, and you know, in terms of the, the, the features that are available, just because the vehicle sits below the Rogue, doesn't mean that it's you know it's cheaped out or we you know we kept things you know for, from the rogue uh, for the rogue sport you know we've got every single uh, intelligent safety technology that is available on the rogue available on the rogue sport you know and that includes the four emergency braking with pedestrian detection our lane departure warning blind spot warning rear cross traffic alert around view monitor I mean all this goes on all those technologies are available on the rogue sport as, and then as well as you know, standard hill start assist and the, the active um, you know, uh, engine controls which help the, the driving dynamics of the Rogue Sport. So, <coughs> looking at the competition, so again, as I mentioned, you know, this is a really uh, rapidly growing segment and it doesn't really have a groove. So you'll notice that a lot of these competitors are different in terms of size and price. Um, you know, the Rogue Sport is, is different again to all these. So. Um, whilst some vehicles are slightly smaller, some vehicles are slightly larger, these are the vehicles that we anticipate will be cross-shopped against the Rogue Sport. Um, and then looking at demographics, so you know, obviously we have um, you know, tested these vehicles you know, to identify the, the market opportunity and we're very confident in that um, you know, based on our clinic results, you know, it, was, it was clear that the, the Rogue and the Rogue Sport fulfilled different um, Roles within the lineup, and they will appeal to clearly different customers. So this is showing, you know, the the, the response from our clinic customers. You so talk about it. I'm sorry. You talk about it being slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. It's the same architecture. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's built on the same platform. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, same platform. It is a small vehicle though. It's a foot shorter and five inches lower. Yeah, you know, the consumers basically validated that the Rogue Sport is it's more for the city rather mm -hmm. than suburban. Um, it's a slightly more modern exterior design, slightly more stylish. Um, not to say that the, the you know the Rogue Sport is not stylish, but it's a more traditional execution of an SUV, whereas the Rogue Sport is a slightly more modern interpretation of what people think is an SUV, more crossover like. Um, youthful versus mature. This one was you know really clear. The Rogue is is identified clearly as being a more mature vehicle. The Rogue Sport is identified as being a more youthful vehicle, which will appeal to millennial buyers, um, and, and of course those without kids. So, you know, the Rogue Sport is a, is a vehicle which is primarily targeted at people who don't have children. So, these are singles and couples living within the city. Um, what do they want in a vehicle? They want style. They want versatility. They want value, maneuverability, and more space in the sedan. Um, 
whilst maintaining a fun to drive feel. And the Rogue Sport really delivers on all those points, and I hope that you're all able to experience that for yourselves over the, the course of the, the coming uh, day. Um, and then so finally on the pricing, so the Rogue Sport will begin from $21,420, ranging up to $27,420 with the top trim SL all-wheel drive. Um, so you'll notice that all-wheel drive is offered on all trims, so we haven't you know, differentiated where all-wheel drive is available. So you can get all trims in all-wheel drive, no exceptions. Thank <laughs> you.